Isakya. That's my Blackfeet name. And it means uh, holy paint gatherer, sacred holy paint gatherer. In my, you spell it E E S U K Y A H, Isakya. And my Euro American name is James St. Godard. When the buffalo would come in the springtime, we would prepare, we would smudge, we would offer. We gave everything just to, for the Iniwa to give himself to us. It was a spiritual offering that we gave all the time for Iniwa. And it was so unique, it's hard to describe in English words. But we gave everything and and Creator would work with Iniwa and Iniwa would give us him. He would offer back and give up himself. So that's why the buffalo is so sacred. Creator set the process up of, of, of the Nitsitapi, the real people, who we are. And the Nitsitapi, the original people of who we are. He set the process in place of how we offer all the sacred things, whatever we have, whatever we want to give up, that we put this in place so the buffalo in Iniwa will give us them. Yeah. So that's what Iniwa is everything to us. He's our life, our shelter, our food. And we used, we used everything. He's so sacred to us that it's hard to imagine what America has really truly done to him. But America has killed him off almost. That's why we're here to to protect the last remaining true Iniwa, and that's that's the Yellowstone herd. And we ask for anyone that wants to join us, any that will speak to us, any that would talk to their legislators, their congressmen, their senators, even Obama, even the President of the United States has the ability to help stop them massacre of, of Iniwa that drift out of Yellowstone Park. Right. It's really sad to see the torturing that goes on to Iniwa. It hurts our Indian people, but we don't express it because we think while well, they're doing it for the betterment of Iniwa, but they're not doing it better in the Yellowstone herd, for instance. It's basically desecrating everything we're about they call it, we call it historical post-traumatic distress. And it's, it's historical post-traumatic stress disorder that happens to us Indians when it continues to destroy our culture. Destroying our Iniwa is destroying the Blackfeet culture, the Blackfoot Confederacy culture, the Salish culture, the Crow culture, the Grovon culture, the Lakota culture the Nakota culture, the Cree culture, the Ojibwe culture, all of these tribes are affected. And we need to band together to stop this killing of the Yellowstone herd. We don't cut, cut, cut. really understand how what I call Euro-Americans think. Many of them think with their hearts. And that's what I've run into and one organization that truly thinks with their hearts, believes in these sacred mammals, we call them, the Iniwa, the buffalo. The Buffalo Field Campaign, there is no way to describe these, these non-indigenous people. Well, they have indigenous people that support them, but most of them are whites, white females, white male adults that are truly good people to want to protect these animals. There isn't any definition of rank and file in this organization. It's a cohesive group of people that really care about Iniwa. In, in English language, I've conquered your English language, I've conquered your mathematics, I've conquered your calculus, I've conquered your schooling, but still I can't describe the meaning of these people, how dearly they want to protect these animals. 
And it's wrong for Yellowstone Park, the state of Montana, the ranchers and the farmers to disrespect these people and say, oh, they're just doing it for different reasons. But why can't the ranchers and the farmers join and the politicians join Buffalo Field Campaign in, in stopping the worst wrong that we see as Indian people? Nobody's speaking up about it because we want to rub shoulders with Schweitzer and Tester and Rayburg and Bacchus. But Obama, I believe, is going to stop this. I believe that that Senator Daniel Inouye from Hawaii is going to stop this. So we ask and we pray, we smudge, we raise our pipes, we go to ceremonies. The elders want this stopped, but nobody's listening. The majority of Montana want it stopped. The majority of America want it stopped. So let's band together and stop this atrocity that's been happening. Mur murdering these mammals, murdering and destroying these, these sacred mammals, Iniwa, is wrong. And we ask this to stop. And the Buffalo Fever Campaign are the people that have stood fast for 15 years in doing this. And I'm so proud of it, I can't say it in, in English words. But Natusi's right there, the son. And my, my son is named Natusi. So I asked Natusi today to make better weather so the buffalo don't drift out of the park. So these innocent beasts don't be killed by these so-called the smartest animals on earth, man. Are we the smartest animals on earth if we're just going to destroy something so sacred? Ixagapi, Anya.